grail of gun safes. Whoa. Dude. The black boxes are STI inventory. Uh huh. As you can see, we've got a a few guns. What are in the yellow boxes? The yellow boxes are Dave's personal guns and guns that we use for prototyping. So as you can imagine, every gun that we make a sight for, we have to have a gun to put the prototypes in. Sometimes a customer will send us their slide or their entire gun to prototype with, and sometimes we purchase guns to be used just uh, for that regard. Is that a 50 right there? Yeah, that's a Barrett 50. Just, you know, just because. Just because you can. Right. See, this the whole thing about this. It, you have it just because. Yeah. So these aren't his... I, all of these in the yellow bins are not actually his personal guns. They're guns you had to go out and purchase in order to make a spare part for. Is that right. correct? Yeah, that, that okay. is correct. Although I, some of them are his personal guns. This is his personal uh, open gun. It's a... Dawson Signature Series Minigun Stroker. So this is uh, a shortened gun and then it, it the stroke on it has been extended by, holy cow, <laughs> uh, something huge on this one. Is it dirty? It, no, it's just stroked so far, look. look Stroking how. means, it, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. so the he's done some relieving in the inside the frame and, and slide to where the slide comes back even further than it should. That looks like it might be longer than a quarter of an inch. And what that does is it gets better reliable feeding, right? Exactly. Okay. And so when you see a gun labeled as a stroker or something, that means it's had that work done. That's exactly right. This is Dave's Patriot. So this is a, a gun that we only made a limited number of and uh, this is Patriot 001, so this is the first one. And it sold for $1,776. Wow. Here's, let's see. This is the Dawson Precision 1911 that was featured in American Handgunner. It was a big poster of that article on the lobby wall when you walk, walk in. Oh, wow. That is a huge flashlight. Yeah, it's kind of old school. I guess it's dated, huh? <laughs> yeah. This is, this is our uh, Dawson Precision Ice Magwell for the 1911. So this fits in by uh, key locking to a special mainspring housing. Mm -hmm. And it comes in gap and no gap versions. The 1911 magazines have a have a uh, a lip, a fl uh, flange, I guess, at the front of the magazine to prevent over insertion. And so this Delrin insert has the gap in there, so you can use standard magazines. But just by changing out this Delrin insert, we have a no gap version, which doesn't have this gap up here, and special no gap base pads. Okay. Uh, that you can use for. Uh, just more reliable reloads, especially in competition. Then we also have a PosiLock uh, magazine catch, which prevents over-insertion. We've got them for the 2011 and for the 1911 versions, and uh, that just allows you to seat the magazine aggressively and not worry about breaking off your ejector. So if you hit your magazine, or you inserted your magazine too much, too far, too hard, you could actually break off the ejector. You could. Or if you go prone really quickly and slam the magazine on the ground. Interesting. Uh, you may have to get me one of those. That could happen as well. <laughs>